there is a bit of, of a reprieve, I guess, from people that were really kind of on tenterhooks of what the Russians are going to do this week. Still a lot of questions on how much and how much longer these flows are going to last. But I have to wonder, at 40 percent, is that enough to prevent an energy crisis next winter? Well, uh the, the resumption of not not in stream gas flows it's definitely good news for the market but it's back to back at 40 percent which is which is not definitely uh, sufficient to have the stores ahead of the winter and um, what we expect that with if 40 percent capacity continues flows uh, continues for the rest of the year demand has to be curtailed by five percent and that would see uh, that would see the storage level to 67 percent uh 67 percent towards end of end of october which is against the ta europe target of 80 percent uh 80 percent towards uh, towards uh, end of october and 90 percent towards end of uh, end of the year so which is not looking really sufficient at the moment and in case if Rush russia resumes its 100% 100% capacity that will that will see the storage level coming back to 80%. So a resumption of 100% is required to avoid any crisis in you any energy crisis in Europe. Wow, that's almost like you have to be at your very best yeah. just to avoid... Just to stay afloat. Just to stay afloat. What are the alternatives, though? I mean, well, that, that's a big if, right? If we get to 100% on flows. If we don't, though, where does, where does Europe get its energy? Well, Europe has already realized that it's going to be tough and they have started taking action. So initially, mm. European Commission has asked to, uh, to its, uh, its member states to reduce their gas consumption by 15 percent. And yesterday, the EU, EU, EU has planned, uh, planned uh, to reduce 15 percent of gas consumption from, the, uh, from, uh, from August this year to, uh, to March next year by 15 percent. Uh, and this this could be mandated by 26th of July, means next week. Uh, next week, uh, if things deteriorate sharp, uh, deteriorate sharply from here onwards, because they are seeing the real risk that Russia could halt or dis disrupt gas flows to Europe. Halting is not an option for Russia as well, because they are, they have to also economically think that their revenues are going to be hurt. So not completely halt, yeah. but even. A 40% capacity, or um, and the best Russian president Putin is also saying that if turbine is not delivered on time, the the, the flows can be reduced to 20% of the capacity. And if that materializes, I think there there is a short-term risk that gas prices will rise again. And you're already seeing a lot of competition between Asian buyers of gas with Europe, right? You have the likes of Japan, Taiwan, trying to secure supplies before the winter. China, though, has been absent from the spot market from some time just because they're going through their own COVID restrictions. I have to wonder, now that we're seeing some economic activity pick up there, shall I expect a big revival of LNG demand from the mainland? Yes, definitely. The Asian Asian buyers are also trying, also realizing that there is going to be a supply risk. Even Jap Japan used to buy uh, buy their uh, LNG cargos on long -term, long term contract basis, but now they have returned to the short to, to the spot market, which is in in terms uh, which is saying that it's it's uh, it's 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 realizing that the, the demand is going to be very strong for gas market given the given the situation that Russia is trying to curb, uh, curb pipeline supply to Europe. On the other hand, China China gas has been weaker so far. And even yeah. in year, on year-to-day basis, it has been negative. But but I think this this has been the relief for the gas market. But it's not good. It's it's likely that heat waves is increasing electricity demand in China. And in in the second half, the the, the probability is like they are going to increase. Uh, they are going to come out of a COVID uh, COVID situation, and things are going to yeah. normalize. Maybe the, in another two three months. So if that situation arises, the competition is going to be really forced for uh, for LNG cargos, and Europe will have tough time. Mm. Yeah, they in fact they did warn about this heat that this heat wave in several parts uh, of the country, and that goes into your point on coal here. The lessons learned from that coal crunch that they had, and it seems like they're stockpiling 
coal as early as now. Do you think that trend continues of them producing more coal? Yes, I think that trend is going to continue. And uh, this is not the recent development. If you look back before before Russia invaded Ukraine, we had energy crisis in last year as well. And that has seen coal, coal, power, uh, coal power generation has increased to a record high last year. And according to BP data, if you see it, the year on year, day, year on year increase was nearly 8%. And this is going to continue for this year as well. As most of the, the, the countries like China, China is increasing its domestic production, and they are also restarting their, uh, they are also adding new capacity for, uh, for coal fire generation. Europe is doing the same, Germany, Italy, they are restarting their coal, coal fired uh, power plants. So the coal, coal, coal demand is going to be stronger, and you know, the, the, this trend is likely to continue for quite some time just to avoid a, a very uh, worrisome energy crisis in the region. And for oil prices, I still think some lingering questions about what came out of, of President Biden's trip to the Middle East. Are, are you thinking that OPEC is going to adhere to the U.S.'s request in terms of boosting capacity? And can they? Uh, see, uh, OPEC, OPEC Plus has been very resilient in their decision. So um, and it's not the new thing that U.S. is, good, is asking uh, OPEC, OPEC to increase production. It has, it has been there uh, since a long time. Uh, there will be there will be a modest increase. There is no doubt, but uh, but it will it will be just symbolic that they are going to increase. To, to but it's it, OPEC wants to keep its coalition very intact, and they don't want to dis, uh, disturb Russia as well. So uh, there will be a modest modest increase from OPEC coming coming from OPEC plus. Not much.